Hello everyone, welcome to Soma Tutorials. Class Second PUC State Syllabus Multiple Choice Question Paper Pattern. So then, in this session, we have to be discussing the topic Computer Science Question Paper Pattern of Academic Year 2022 and the 23. So here. The PU board, that is a Karnataka PU board released the new question paper pattern to make it easier for the children. So it has the multiple choice questions are to be present in question paper. So in these sessions, we have discussing that question paper pattern. First, let me know about the second PUC syllabus, the new question paper pattern. Second PUC Computer Science 2022 and 2023 academic year. The question paper pattern like this. The PU board released a new pattern to make it easier for children. The new pattern is like this. Part A. The first one is that answer all questions. Each question carries the one mark. That means 1 into 20, which is equal to 20. So that the question number 1 to 15, that is part A and the first main. And the second main, fill in the blanks. Choose the appropriate words from those given in brackets. It is the question number 15 to 20. The part A, it consisting of an, the two mains. The one is called answer all the questions. Each question carries the one mark. Then second main, the fill in the blanks choosing the appropriate words from those given in the brackets. That is, that is the question number 15 to 20. Then part B. Part B, answer any four questions. Each question carries the two marks. So, in this the part B, the question number 21 to 28. That are all the questions are in part B. Then the part C. Answer any four questions. Each question carries the three mark. That is question number 29 to 36. The total eight questions. The four questions are to be written here. Then part D, that is answer the six questions. Each question carries the five mark. The total, it has at 11 questions. The question number from the 37 to 47. So out of these, the six questions are to be written here. So answered here. So that is the answer of any six questions. Each question carries five mark. So that is the 1 to 15. One mark questions. 15 to 20, that is also one mark questions. Then the 21 to 28, that is a two mark questions. Then the 29 to 36, that are the three marks questions. The last main part D section, that are the 37 to 47 question number. So out of these questions, we have to write in the six questions. So that the five marks each. So this is a question paper pattern of the year 2022 and 23. So, Karnataka State Free University Education. So, second PUC Computer Science Subject Blueprint like this. So, here the PU board, it releases a new pattern to make it easier for the children like the mock questions, like the multiple choice questions. So, that is the new patterns. So, it consisting of the one mark multiple choice questions. So, from the chapter number one. So, one mark. That is multiple choice questions and three mark questions. One also total the four mark. From the chapter number two, Boolean algebra, the one more question and two mark one question and the five mark one question total the nine plus one total ten mark questions. Then from the chapter three, logic gates, one more question and one three mark question total four mark. From the chapter number 4, data structure, one more question. So, one three mark question and two five mark question. Total 14 mark from the chapter 4. 
Then chapter number five, that is a review of the C++ that is covered in the first PUC syllabus. So that is noted the question here. Chapter number six, oops concept. So it has the one two mark questions and one mark five mark question. Wrote on seven marks from this chapter. Then chapter number seven, the classes and objects, one more questions and the one five mark question, total six mark here. Then chapter number eight, function overloading, the one MCQ question and one five mark question, total five plus one, that is the six mark. Then chapter number nine, constructor and destructor, so one MCQ question, so one two mark questions and one five mark question, total seven plus one, that is eight mark. Then chapter number 10, inheritance chapter, so it has the one MCQ question and one five mark question, total six mark from this chapter. Chapter number 11, pointers, one MCQ question, one three mark question, total the four mark from this chapter. Then chapter number 12, data file handling, it has the one two mark question, one three mark question, total the five mark. Then chapter number 13, database concept, one multiple choice questions, so one into five, total the five marks from this chapter, the multiple choice questions, that is a total five multiple choice questions from this, the database concept and one two mark question, one three mark question and one five mark question, total 16 mark from this, the chapter database concept. Then chapter number 14, SQL commands, one MCQ question, one two mark question, one five mark question. Total the eight marks from this chapter. Then chapter number 15, networking concept, two MCQ question, so one two mark question, one five mark question. That is total nine mark from this chapter. Then 16th, chapter number 16. Internet and open source concept, one MCQ question. So one three mark question, total the four marks from this chapter. Then chapter number 17, web designing, one MCQ question. So one three mark question, total the four mark from this chapter. Then the total mark is that 10 multiple choice questions. Then 16 mark from the Two mark questions, then 24 mark from these the three mark questions, and 55 mark from these the five mark questions. The total marks in the question paper that is 115. So out of 17, so that the total number of the questions to be answered here 1 into 20 equal to 20, then 2 into 4 out of 8 that is equal to 8 mark, 3 into 4 out of 8 that is equal to 12 mark. In 5 into 6 out of 9 that is equal to 30 mark. The 70 mark from the 47 questions. So this is the question paper pattern of the second PUC computer science subject academic year 22 and 23. Thank you. So this is a new pattern the computer science subject. So if you like my videos, please do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon for the notification of new videos. Thank you so much.